So let's start off. I'm going to, I've got five different loads. I've got five different bullseyes on the right hand target. It'll be the target centered in the target cam down there at this time. I'm going to start in the top left, then go to top right, then go to center, then bottom left, and then bottom right. So I'm going to start off with the 40.6 grains of ramshot tack in the top left diamond. Okay, that was 2496. 2496. Now we'll go to the top right diamond with uh, 40.8 grains of ram shot tack. Top right. That speed was 2479. 2479. And that was more powder, but it was slower than the first shot. Now we'll go to 41.0 grains. And this will be in the center diamond. 41.0 grains. Ram shot tack. That one was twenty five thirty, two thousand five hundred and thirty feet per second. Now we'll go to 41.2 grains. This will be the lower left diamond. I apologize if I sound a little congested or whatever. My allergies are acting up. I'm going to try to edit out the majority of my coughs and various other things where I can't talk. If I can't get some of them out, I apologize. But 41.2 grains, lower left. That one was 25.45. 25.45. Twenty-five forty-five. Now we're going to go to forty-one point four grains. This will be the lower right diamond. And for some reason. The chrono did not get a speed on that one. It says an error. I don't know what's, what's up there. So we don't have a speed on that last one. <clears throat> Go back to 40.6 grains and we'll be shooting at the top left diamond. Doing the best I can to 
use the same aim point okay that speed was 2465 2465 so that's uh, 30 feet per second slower than the first one and this is what I've experienced with this powder is it is not consistent uh, I, I try to take great care in weighing out my charges in fact I use two different scales I start out with a manual scale to get it as close as I can there and then put it in a digital scale and uh, tweak it to the right weight there before I, I throw the charge but uh, that that seems to be just uh, the nature of this powder I don't have that same issue with Varget or with the Shooter's World Precision Rifle but we're going to try 40.8 this will be the top right diamond, 40.8. Wow. Seen that right, that doesn't look good. That speed was 2518. 2518. And that's 40 feet per second faster than the first one at that load. <clears throat> now we're going to use the 41.0. And this will be center diamond. 41. 41.0 ram shot tack I think it's almost touching the first shot that speed was 25.19 that's only 11 feet per second different than the first round of that charge weight. Now we'll go to 41.2. This will be the bottom left diamond. 41.2. That speed was 2568. 2568, which is 23 feet per second faster than the first one. And this is charge of 41.4 ram shot pack. This will be the bottom right target diamond. And that got a speed of 2517. We didn't have a speed on the first one of that weight. Had an error on the chrono, so I don't know what it was doing. We'll go back down to 40.6. Be the top left diamond, 40.6.
at a speed of 24.98. I think I saw it touching. Uh, no, I didn't. <clears throat> Alright, so this one is the uh, 40.8, this will be the top right diamond, 2494. That one's a little slower than the one I just shot. Even though it had 0.2 grains more powder. So now we'll shoot 41 grains. This will be the center diamond. seeing it correctly seems to be grouping fairly well that was 2429 according to the chrono uh, I'm beginning to wonder now we're at 41.2 which would be the bottom left 41.2 Badly got one flyer. The two, other two are side by side. That speed was 25-25. Now the last one, with the ram shot tack at 41.4, be the bottom right diamond on the target. That speed was 24.88. And it seems to be holding true with my other test that this powder does not burn consistently for the same load. Uh, there's too much spread between high and low speeds. Uh, for extreme accuracy, in my opinion, but we will uh, we'll go get the target and do a little more analysis on it. But this is pretty much the end of the shooting with the ram shot tack powder. We'll get get back from the retrieving the target and see what we can do. Okay, let's measure the first group here. This is the 40.6 grains. Center to center, it's about 1 and 1 8 inches, or 28 and a half millimeters. The second group, and this is a 2 and a half inch group. This is 63 and a half millimeters, or 2 and a half inches. Go on down to the third group, which is the 41 point zero grains of ram shot tack and here the rifle seems to like this load this is a three quarter inch or 19 millimeter group which is a very very good group that's you know less than one moa 
uh, three quarters of an MOA. So that, that's a good grouping there. Get on down to the, the fourth group. This is a one inch group center to center at 25 millimeters. And the fifth group is the 41.4 grains. And that is one and three eighths inches center to center or 35 millimeters. This particular load seems to favor the 41 to 41.2 grains. And uh, with the one flyer on the 41.2 grains, and I could have pulled that, I don't know. But uh, still, that's, that's a very consistent grouping. But uh, the, the powder itself is just seems these loads are all over the place. These are not consistent with my other groupings that I've done with other powders. I don't think it's me, uh, but uh, we're going to go back to the bench and calculate the standard deviation and the extreme spread for these. But this powder just doesn't group like Varget or the Shooter's World Precision Rifle does for me. We'll summarize that when we get back to the bench. Okay, we're back at the bench now done some analysis on the results from our shooting test. For the 40.6 grain load, we had an average speed of 2486 feet per second with a standard deviation of 18.5 and an extreme spread of 33 feet per second. For the 40.8 grain load, we had an average speed of 2497 feet per second with a standard deviation of 19.67 and an extreme spread of 39 feet per second. For the 41.0 grain load, we had average speed of 2493 feet per second, standard deviation of 55.41 and an extreme spread of 101 feet per second. For the 41.2 grain load, we had an average speed of 2546 with a standard deviation of 21.52 and an extreme spread of 43 feet per second. For the 41.4 grain load, we, we had an average speed of 2503 feet per second with a standard deviation of 20.51 and an extreme spread of 29 feet per second. As I've commented earlier with this powder, it seems that it is very inconsistent. I'm not sure about the reading on the 41 grain load with the extreme spread being 101 feet per second. I'm starting to question the, if the chronograph mis misread one of those speeds but that is what was reported. So, anyway, you, you saw the groupings, and the 41 grain was actually the best grouping out of, out of the five different loads. So that is counterintuitive to the extreme spread on that load, which makes me call it into question. But regardless, the ramshot tack... Uh, does not seem to be consistent for me. It may work for other people. You can use it. If I was going to shoot it, I'd probably shoot it at a 41 grain or 41.1 grain. Those were the two better groupings. And uh, that's that's what you want. you want. You want the best grouping you can get for consistency. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, if you learned anything, if it's been beneficial to you, please like and subscribe. Share it with your friends. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Also, if you have any ideas for other videos that you'd like to see, leave those in the comments. I appreciate the ideas, and we'll try to get something out in the very near future. Again, thanks for watching.